All right, so I just wanted to show everybody our grow tent. Uh, this is how we start all of our seedlings. We have a nice grow tent in our garage with two rows. Uh, we have the tubes, which my husband drilled nice holes in to keep them constantly uh, getting fed uh, with water as well as not watering from the top. Uh, but keeping them moist from below. This is actually only half of the peppers that we started this year. Uh, I've already moved out half of these to the greenhouse. I have about 500 peppers total. And uh, this is the second half. Uh, there's my temperature gauge beeping because I have the door open right now and it's uh, probably in the 60s today. Uh, and we keep it nice and toasty in here for the seedlings. But the rest of these will be going out to the greenhouse this week. And uh, watch the video for how I up-pot these. Um, but this is how we do our germination. And then uh, I separate from there. Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to be up-potting some of our hot peppers, part of the Pepperona Peppers project. Uh, this variety is the Bikino Red, and what I've done here is started the seeds in our solo cups. Uh, we grow these out in our uh, grow tent, and seed starting in there is very easy. We have it temperature controlled all throughout the winter. Um, I've actually put in the pipes so that they're constantly getting nutrients and water. Um, and they're fed from the bottom. So these are some extremely healthy seedlings that have been growing for uh, the past seven or eight weeks in our grow tent. Um, and so now time to up pot um, out here in the greenhouse. It's about 50 degrees outside today. Um, my thermostat in the greenhouse says it's 107. So I have the doors open and I'm about to get to potting these up. I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, what exactly I'm doing here. So um, when I started these seedlings in a cup, uh, I used a really great uh, loose and fine seed starting mix. Um, average was about three to four seeds per cup. And of course I cut the holes in the bottom. You can see these have the roots coming out. Definitely time for these to get up potted. Uh, the variety Bikino Red. This is the first time I've ever grown these. They look extremely healthy and they should up pot and transplant well. Uh, behind me over the last few days, what I've been doing is up potting hundreds of seedlings. We've had a few that um, have had a little bit of transplant shock, um, but overall they've been doing very well considering the fact that the temperature in here has been swinging between about 40 degrees at night and then up, upwards of 100 degrees during the day. And my ones in the cup have actually shown no signs of uh, being in shock at all. So I know that these are absolutely ready to be up potted and they're gonna do very well. So let's talk a little bit about what I'm doing in the process here. I have my list of all my peppers. I've numbered the cups and they coordinate with the pepper name. I also have labels that are pre-made that I'm going to be putting on the outside of the pots. And then I have my potting mix already made up here. And um, that's in my wheelbarrow. And I've used a little bit of perlite to loosen up the soil and to keep it real light and airy. The uh, process is I'm going to break up the seedlings and separate them into these four inch pots that I got from Greenhouse Megastore. I've also got the trays underneath, and um, all I've got to do here now is just label these up. So let's go through that process real quick. I have nine total in these two solo cups that I'm going to be potting up. So let me get to it. These are my uh, pots that I'll be using. Pretty simple and easy. I just cut these apart. So I know I'm gonna need nine total. Put it in the tray here. These are my little labels that I've already pre-made. They're waterproof as well. 
so I know that when I water these, they're not going to come off and they're going to be pretty durable throughout being in the greenhouse, getting watered, fertilized, and all the way to getting shipped out. So these are my Bikinia Reds. This little sticky backside off. Uh, the great thing about these stickers is that they're very cost effective. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap way to label your pots, um, also, in my downtime with the girls at home with the kids, I'm able to go ahead and make all these labels pretty quickly. Um, and then they're just ready for me to use when I come out here to pot things up. So we got our pots labeled. I also typically, once I've potted them up, I take the stick out with the coordinating number and I'll put that right here in the front of the pot so that I can quickly see what variety it is um, in case you know anything goes wrong with one of the little stickies coming out uh, I have kind of a double backup to what variety it is as you can see I have I have actually over 50 varieties of peppers out here and they all look very similar so that's why I was so uh, meticulous about labeling because I was worried that, you know, if anything fell out of the pot, there's not really any way of telling what your pepper variety is with all of them looking so similar. There are a few, uh, like the Murasaki purple that, you know, you can probably tell what type it is because they have that purple vein running through and right now actually it's blooming uh, with some purple flowers, but other than that, they all look quite similar to me. So now I'm going to go ahead and here's my bucket. It has everything that I need in it to fill the pot. I do find that this mixture that we're using uh, it has compost in it, some sand, uh, and it is pretty lightweight, but it does settle quite a bit. So I actually fill these pots completely full and then as needed, once I get these seedlings into the pots, I most likely will need to add a little bit more soil and once I water them, they'll actually settle even just a little bit more. So it'll, even if these look full right now and I'm going to be adding these seedlings in here, still typically going to need even more soil than what's in here now. mixture. All right, so now is the time to break up these seedlings and um, they all have a really great root ball already and the only issue that I've had is the smaller ones having a little bit of a harder time getting transplanted than the bigger ones but I do find that if I put my fingers right here in the center and work my way gently out, I get a really nice defined root ball between each seedling and they up pot really nicely. So most of these, you'll see the roots are coming all the way down here and they'll be just fine after being transplanted. So we wanna get as much of that root ball as we can you can see both of these have nice long roots that are coming with them. Make a little hole. Get those all the way deep down inside. And just like that.
two more in here. Sometimes they don't want to say goodbye to each other, but got that nice long piece of root there with it, as well as this one too. One cup, and you'll be able to see we have four bikini reds potted up, and then I will move on to my next cup and separate the rest of these peppers. And then at the end, I water them all in really well. Uh, sometimes I give them a little bit of fish emulsion just to help them along with the transplant shop. Um, but so far, they really haven't needed it. And I've been up potting these um, all week. So the ones that you can see here behind me, and I'll get a close up of these in a few minutes, um, they've actually fared very well after all of the transition not only the weather, but um, the difference in temperature in the greenhouse, uh, different soil that they'll be putting in, they've been put in, and then also breaking up the, the roots to uh, separate all of these into separate cups. So thank you for watching. Um, let's get a little close up of these little pepper babies and see what we've got here. Happy little peppers that were once in a cup like this for the last eight weeks in our grow tent. So thank you. Bye.